Yeah. I made it. Joey looks it's amazing. It's a lion. Hey everybody, Erin here with Healthy Mom Happy Family and I'm back with some of my favorite helpers today, Joey, Jimmy, and Emily. And what we're talking about today are snack activities. This is fun, nutritious ways to incorporate education into snack time. Right now with virtual learning, everybody being home, we're trying to work from home and do school from home, it can be a little overwhelming. So it's all about multitasking. And that's what a snack activity really is. It's doing something the kids wanna do anyway, which is snacking. I see him, I see him. He started without us, but that's okay. We'll talk about it. So, you know, my kids are always asking for snacks. Are you guys always asking for snacks? Pretty much, right? Yes, you are. Don't lie. They're always asking for snacks. So what this activity is, and it's a huge hit in our house, is yogurt painting. This is a really great way to introduce the idea of primary and secondary colors to preschool, kindergarten, first graders. And what you do is just take Greek yogurt, which is a good source of protein and calcium, and put it into three little clear containers. Then with a few drops of food dye, you can make red, blue, and yellow, which are what kind of colors, Joey? Primary colors. Primary colors, good job. And then with a few popsicle sticks, you can give them a white plate and let them create. They can blend colors and see what kind of secondary colors they create. Mama. They can make artwork. So they're gonna show you by just taking the popsicle sticks and blending on the plate the different creations they can make. And the fun part about this is they're being exposed to colors, they're understanding primary and secondary colors, and at the end, they can eat the artwork that they created. So I can't wait to see what these guys create. So Jimmy's creation, he made a princess, beautiful. And now you can eat it, because it's yogurt with just a little bit of food dye in it. It's a snack they love already, it's nutritious, but it's just a new fun way to incorporate it into snack time, and they're learning in the process. Wow, Joey, that looks amazing, honey. What did you make? Belle. It's Belle. From Beauty and the Beast. I love it. What a great job. Yeah, <laughs> Jinx. <laughs> You did awesome, I love that. All right, so that's how much fun, and this really takes seconds to set up. Each little bowl of yogurt, you just put in about three drops of food dye and mix it up with popsicle sticks, we're done. Oh, we're done. We are on to our next snack activity. All right, so our next snack activity is really a STEM activity. It's really encouraging your kids to use their engineering and critical thinking skills to build the tallest tower or a piece of artwork out of our raw materials, which are carrot sticks, celery, and some pretzel sticks. Now what I love about this activity is not only is it challenging them to build, and their glue that they're using is peanut butter. Now you could use any kind of nut butter, you could use sun butter, or even hummus if you aren't able to have nuts. But you could... You could use Nutella. Yeah, that's a good point. We could try it with Nutella too. I bet you'd really like that, huh? <laughs> so you can use it with peanut butter, you can use it with sun butter, hummus. We're using peanut butter for this. But all they're gonna do is take the variety of raw vegetables, they're gonna take the celery, the carrots, the pretzel sticks, and make a creation. So this was my tower that I created a little bit ago. You can see I added the pretzel on top. Oh no! <laughs> I destroyed our tower! <laughs> so as you can see, it needs a little work to be more stable. Oh no! Oh no! I need a lot of peanut butter to check it out! Oh no, we need all the peanut butter! So this is the fun part. They're having fun, they're building, ah! They're learning in the process, and at the end, they can eat it. So the other thing I love about this activity is it's really increasing their exposure to more raw veggies. So a lot of kids, and mine included, don't eat as many vegetables as maybe they should. And the idea of the exposure, where they're seeing them, they're touching them, they're being exposed, even if they're not tasting them, that's going to increase acceptance. And over time, they're more likely to eat those foods. Like this guy here, if I was to normally put a celery stick on his dinner plate, what would you do, honey, if I put this on your plate? Normally it would get tossed back at me. That's probably what would happen. But because we're using it as an activity and it's fun, oh, yeah. I know you would. Um, he's building, he's enjoying it, he's touching it, and he's not feeling pressured to eat it. It's a really low pressure, low stress activity, and it's a great way to introduce your kids to new foods like raw vegetables. And done. <gasps> that is amazing! That is Simba! That is so good. Look at that, Jimmy. See that? That Joe? is Simba. See that? Simba. That is fantastic, honey. I love it. What a Simba's great job you did. Day. He's really tiny. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Can I show everybody? 
Looks great. I love it. What a great creation. Oh, that's fun too. Okay. All right. We're going to be on to the next activity. So next up, what do we have? Joey? An edible solar system. So one of the fun things about learning is when you can make it really tactile, where you can see it and taste it and touch it, it really helps you to remember the information. So if you're talking about the solar system and the planets and the relationship of those planets to the sun, if you can create an edible solar system to help your kids remember what they're learning, it's a really, really great way to make I'm education more fun and delicious at snack time. Give so me here, that. Give me that. here we have the sun, and then we're just showing with a variety of fruits and vegetables the planets in relationship to the sun. So we have blueberry here, we have you know, great Venus, we have Earth, of course, the green planet there. Mars, the red planet, we made it a cherry tomato. We got strawberry, cheese, carrot, and a raisin. So real simple to create, but this is a great way to go over with your kids and talk to them about what planets are this? Like Joey. Joey, what planet is the planet that has the ring around it? Saturn. Saturn, right. So Saturn, you can see right there, has the ring around Saturn. it. Saturn. Jimmy, what's the third planet from the sun? It's the one you live on. Earth. Earth. Good job, good job. And who knows what the red planet is? What's the red planet called? Mars. Mars. And it's right here. We have a nice red cherry tomato to be Mars. Uh, so, so simple to do. You can create it out of any fruits and vegetables or is, cheese you have around the house. This is Earth. This is Earth. This is Earth. That, that is not Earth, no. No, no, this one. <laughs> Earth is the third planet from the sun. So, let's count. One, two, three. That's Earth. Earth yes, is, is the green grape. Yes. There you go. You just moved Earth. Yep. You flipped Earth over. Oh no. All right. So we're going to eat some planets and move on to the next activity. So what makes math more fun? Food. And that is why we love doing popcorn math. So all you need to do is on a piece of paper, put an addition sign, a subtraction sign. Yeah. Anything you want, division, multiplication, depending on the age of your children. And you're going to make a math problem out of popcorn. So here I'm going to give two plus one, two, three equals what? And he's going to solve the problem by putting the right amount of popcorn in the answer. If he gets it right, he can eat his snack. And here, Jimmy, what's one plus one? What does that equal? Two. Very good. So put two pieces of popcorn, one, two, and then you can eat your answer. And that is popcorn math. It's so easy, so delicious, and a really fun way to get your kids more excited about math. So the next activity we have is completing the pattern. This is so simple to set up. You just take bite-sized pieces of food. So in this case, we have some blueberries, some grapes, and a few chocolate chips, and you put them into a pattern. And then you create the pattern again, but leave a few blanks, and allow your child to fill in the blanks. So here, guys, the pattern is blueberry, blueberry, grape, grape, chocolate chip. Blueberry, blueberry, grape, grape, chocolate chip. So how do we complete this pattern? Blueberry, blueberry, grape, grape, chocolate chip. Blueberry, blueberry, what comes next? Grape, grape, and chocolate chip. We did it. We completed the pattern. So now that we completed the pattern, guess what we get to do? What? Eat it. Go for it. Yum, 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 yum. Yay. <laughs> All right, we are on our last snack activity. And looks like we lost somebody. Jimmy, is somebody missing? Hmm, I wonder where Joey could be. Too bad he's gonna miss it because this is one of my favorites, pizza fractions. Did someone say pizza? <laughs> pizza? So pizza's a really great way to introduce the concept of fractions and to make it really visual. So you can slice a pie in many ways. Now if you're doing it as a snack, we made a tortilla pizza here, or you can do a frozen pizza, takeout pizza, but basically how you're dividing the pizza out is how you can explain fractions. So what I like to do is put the pizza in different configurations and say, Joey, what fraction is that? Do you know? Hmm? Is it a quarter? Is it a half? Is that half a pizza? Uh, that's half a pizza? No. no. Could it be three quarters? Three quarters? Yes, it is. It's three quarters. All right. This guy needs to eat more pizza here because he has to practice some pizza, <laughs> pizza fractions there. But then we can label it with flashcards. And the best part is at the end, when we get it right, what do we do when we get a snack activity right? Eat that. Eat it. Oh, no. I think Emily's going to do it. <laughs> Oh, well, all right. Well, she's messy. That's the part of the fun. Okay, so those are our snack activities. They make learning at home really fun, delicious, and nutritious. Oh! <laughs> and I think that's a wrap.
wrap. So thank you everybody for joining us today. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe. Comment below and let us know what activities you love. We're out. Bye.